This is a very elementary and simple problem that can be addressed using Little's law. So uh, I got this data from uh, Yahoo Finance. Um, the data has been reported on 31st of January in 2021. And so the data represents 2020. Uh, the average inventory reported was $44.949 million and um, the uh, cost to buy everything that Walmart intends to sell, which I assume to be the purchase, was $420.315 million, $420 million. But yeah, so uh, the question is asking us, um, how, how long does an item stay within Walmart? So, so what's the inventory value on an average, right? How, how long does it stay? So, uh, the same, we use the same Little's Law that we talked about in the previous video. Now here, the first item, 44 million, that's, that's in inventory, that's items. Even though it's not in numbers and it's in dollars, it's still inventory, right? So, 44.949 is the inventory that the Walmart has and we call it the number in the system. Now this 420 million number, it's the purchases done per year. It's per year, per time. So like we said, anything per time is a flow, right? It's a flow rate. So I say that A is my flow rate. And uh, my the time something stays in the system can easily be calculated by um, just changing the Little's Law a little bit. And uh, W, which is L divided by A comes to 0 0.1069 years or um, if you just extend it, it will be 1.28 months. So anything that is on an average, an item that is bought by Walmart stays within the Walmart system for 1.28 months before it is finally being paid for by the consumer.